Alright, listen. 100 k Hey, that's crazy, but but anyway, today's a special day because um this company named Arteza, they were kind enough to send me some supplies. Now, what I got was a 72 pack of colored pencils. I also got a 48 pack of the real brush watercolor pens. And they also threw in two of the 80 sheet drawing pads. And I got two 30 sheet watercolor pads with it to use with the pens. So uh, a big thank you to them for sending me these. I'm gonna have the links to all these products in the description below. But uh, we gotta test out some of these new supplies. We gotta break them in a little bit. So I'm gonna be using it on this sketch right here. Now, this is a quick little drawing. Now, I'm trying to do different types of characters. So I went along and did something I didn't do before. I drew a little astronaut. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see like the old, the original drawing I did of him. Now the original drawing, he was like sideways, shooting a money gun and stuff. I ended up drawing him in a different position for the video. Still doing a lot of um, different drawing positions that I never drew before. You know, we got 100K now, we gotta step it up a little bit. So you ain't gonna see too much of my characters just like standing still looking straight ahead anymore. From now on, I'm trying to make them a lot more lively. We about to go crazy on this. But anyway, for my guy right here, I drew him sitting down. He's holding up a rack of money too. He had to. Now, there's a reason why I don't draw my cartoons sitting down. It's tough for me. But listen, you got to work on your weaknesses to get better. So that's why I drew him like that. Now, I didn't add a lot of like details to like the clothes and everything like that. I'm going to start doing that a little bit more now. Like I said, 100K, we got to step it up a little bit. So I'm going to be adding a lot more details in the clothes. And... I know I said this at like the start of the year, but I'm really gonna try to draw some realistic type of drawings. But anyway, after I was finished um, inking up this drawing, we went along and got to the coloring process. Now, like I said at the start of the video, I'm using the Arteza color pencils. Now, um, this pack came with a lot of different colors. Did them is labeled in the color zone. Now, they came out really vibrant and nice when I laid them on the paper. Now, I'll probably end up giving a review of these further down the line. The same with the um, real brush watercolor pens. As for now, I'm just using the materials, trying to get comfortable with them. You know, you guys can see how it came out. But um, further down the line, I'll probably do like a, we can do like a comparison or something. These versus the Copic markers, Prismacolor or something like that. But um, before I get to that, I want to just get a little bit more comfortable with the coloring process in general. Because um, I really didn't start coloring any of my like cartoons or any of the drawings I did until like, six or five months ago it was something like that but even back then the only thing i used was like the crayola color pencil so the only thing i knew is just stay inside the lines when you color it now um anybody who follows my videos knows i'm trying to learn how to shade blend do all that kinds of stuff so it's, it's just going to be a learning process but um i didn't feel comfortable doing like a full review or something when i don't like fully know how to use it that well but um We'll eventually get there at some point. But anyway, these these color pencils are going to be very useful because you can you can create a lot of realistic drawings using these pencils. Like I said, all the different shades and different colors. So um, as I'm working towards drawing more realistically, you're going to see me probably using color pencils a lot more. Anyway, for the drawing, um, now normally when I use color pencils, I would just use one color. I would color stuff with just one solid color. But um, for this drawing, you know. A while ago, I watched um, one of the Draw With Jazz videos on using colored pencils, like getting the most out of them. You know what I'm saying? So I did a lot with what he said. I laid down like one solid, it was like the solid base color, a lot like what I did with Copics. And then I layered on top of that. I went with a darker shade, depending on um, where the light was to try and make it look like it had depth. Depth. I can never say that word, but y'all get the picture, I think. But yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to learn these techniques for colored pencils the same way I am with the markers still. Um, if you guys look up a time-lapse drawing of somebody doing like a really realistic drawing of like a face or somebody, but sometimes like the artists mix together like red, orange, yellow, green, and all that stuff. And then it ends up coming out looking exactly like they took a picture of the person. And I don't know how all that works. Don't, don't come on this channel looking for that. You, I don't know. Maybe like... In a little bit, we can get there eventually. Like I said, I got a couple of how-to manual books for realistic drawings. So eventually, eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to get to that. That's going to be one of my new big goals. 
But anyway, that's that's pretty much it for this drawing. Like I said, I'm gonna be using these colored pencils a lot more. But anyway, like I said, I got some of the real brush pens. Now, um, I didn't really color in a drawing with these because it's gonna take a little bit time for me to get used to them. But once I do, I'm, I'm gonna be dropping some videos using these and probably comparing them to like the markers. But um, these pens have like an actual brush. Like I said, when I first saw that, I thought like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to color with these, but it's actually pretty easy to control when you're using it. I thought it was gonna be tougher, but um, colors aren't labeled like um, the colored pencils were. But um, but um, I tried dipping one in water and create like a little gradient of one color getting progressively darker. A lot easier to shade than I thought they would be too. That's another big thing. I thought it was gonna be like a lot more difficult for me, but it wasn't actually that bad. But yeah, right now I'm buns with these pens, but like I said, I'm gonna use them a lot more. Once I get more comfortable with them, I'll probably make a video doing a drawing or I can even do like a little reviewer comparison against the markers. But that's pretty much it. Just a video um, testing out some of the new art supplies I got. Listen, I'm so I'm really sorry for not being able to post a lot. I've been getting like a ton of math and again, math ain't exactly my strength. Anyway, I'm probably gonna do another one of the little comic book videos and I'm gonna try to get like another challenge in. But um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. We gotta step it up for 100K now and I'm out.